<laughs> so why? Why does it always seem like it's so hard to score a win for the people in terms of the New World Order? Okay, how come it always seems like the agenda manifests more and more, but it's the people who get the short end of the stick? Why is that? I'm going to try to flesh that out a bit, okay? And I think part of the reason, a big part, is that we want it, okay? We want it. Of course, we don't really want, if you're familiar with the New World Order, we don't really want the doom and gloom, control, surveillance, spiritual servitude, and on like that, that the New World Order has to offer, okay? It's, it's bottom line, basically. Of course, uh, we don't really want that. But it's peripheral aspects, okay? How certain things are pitched to us inclines us to be more favorable to the unfolding agenda. And what do I mean? They and by they I mean those that stir the drink, they take advantage of the momentum we the people want to see behind a certain measure, a particular policy, and these scum inlay their own imperatives into that. So laws, bills, policies, and on like that, on the surface they appear to reflect the will of the people, okay? When in reality it's just short of what we really aim to do with it, and yet the parasites ultimately get what they're looking for. These jokers, these power pyramid political parasites, they leverage either our uh, mental malice ability following the often engineered crisis we see to manufacture our consent to things we'd otherwise turn our finger up to, or like I said, they finagle their imperatives usually by folding them into the people somehow. Alright, that's how it's done. I'm talking uh, immigration, gun control, censorship, doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. So instead of seeing something like common sense immigration policy, we see something that uh, it not only serves to further divide the people, but gets a whole political wing of a party behind an adjunct to our 1984-like surveillance grid. Okay, I'm talking about the uh, the biometric entry-exit visa tracking system Trump says he wants on land, air, and sea. Okay, fingerprints, eye scan, RFID readers, and on like that. This is what Trump means when he says wall, okay? And not to mention the illegal internal immigration checkpoints, all right? The soft forms of border enforcement at state lines and DUI checkpoints, all right? That was being teased initially, um, and it was ballyhooed. Then suddenly, when Trump actually started shipping migrants to places like California and Florida, uh, now we'll see where these policies will truly trend, okay? And that's just immigration. Uh, with guns, it's like every time there's a shooter, uh, these new world order measures end up incorporated in tandem with the people's measures, okay? So the masses are snookered into consenting to the uh, tyrannical crawl, all right? And it's only later, after a series of these often manufactured catalyzing incidents, that one might just realize where things have been trending, okay? It's like the, the frog boiling in the pot scenario. The water gradually gets warmer, and, you know, initially things can feel quite cozy, quite comfortable, but by the time you really realize the situation you're in, it's too late, and I think that's exactly what's happening. I mean, it, even with you know with the guns in some places, they're approaching gun control in such a, a short, a short-sighted manner. Uh, they make it cumbersome for law-abiding citizens to exercise their rights. I mean, what does a criminal care about a gun-free zone or something like that, right? And with censorship, you know. Uh, they say it's to protect our modesty or whatever it is, but censorship is just a euphemism for control. You know, let the government decide what's good and bad, right? Y you get my point here. Immigration, shooting, censorship, it doesn't matter. By weaving their agenda into what the left and right naturally jockey over anyway, and by usurping the public's imperative, sometimes altogether, the beast grows. And that's because politics is, is the vehicle they often use to ferry these nefarious agendas, which is why we're going to want this. I mean, just look at how we approach politics now, okay? The left, they instinctively attack anything uh, that it sees as opposition, and they want it that way, okay? Policy, measures, even a person, it doesn't matter, even if it's good for their party or the greater America, if you can imagine that, okay? They'll, they'll, they'll try to buck it, all right? And they want it that way. Conversely, on the right, you have folks that instinctively defends anything that resembles criticism of their party or their New World Order tool job, Trump, all right? And again, they want it that way. You have this situation where, on each side, they're invoking the evil of the other to the point that there's hardly a distinction among the both, all right? And that's what we're seeing. We're seeing the two ends, uh, the two extreme ends of the spectrum, and they love it. They love being there. The system has them by the genitals, and they love it, all right? It's, and it's just this political atmosphere alone that really lowers our expectations of what we expect from these people who are in these positions and supposed to represent our interests, all right? Basically, we're saying it's okay that it's deteriorated to the level it has, and we, the people who are supposed to have the power... Well, we just don't care. We'll, we'll hand it over to you guys because you guys know best. But the problem is, is what folks, you know, they don't understand is that there's more of us than there is of them. And if we wanted to do something for the people, we could.
You know, if we really wanted to do something about these jokers, we could. Just look at the momentum behind the Area 51 debacle. I, I made the point. I know there was other things going on there, but I'm just making the point. Look at the numbers that were garnered behind that effort. If we can coordinate and get together for real initiatives for the people, I think we could start to crumble some aspects of the system. All right, But we're just too willing to be taken advantage of, and we allow the imperatives we zealously guard to be usurped for evil if it means that we can stick it in the eye of the other side. All right. Again, we're, we're asking for this stuff. And, you know, speaking of the Area 50, one thing, I, just as a, a quick side note, um, you got folks out there pushing for disclosure, right? And hey, look, I, I, I said it in a previous uh, episode, I do believe there was esoteric, covert experimentation going on with uh, elements outside of the human condition at Area 51, but once the lid was blown on that, come on, they moved their operation somewhere else. So I think people are being a little bit naive. But... Um, Right now you have folks pushing for disclosure, basically. And I know that means different things to different people, but it usually the, the crux of it is, is the U.S. <laughs> yeah, right, the, U, the U.S., the lying U.S. Okay, what a joke. Um, the U.S. Or, or some other government debuts an official and owns up to knowledge of what we call extraterrestrial biological entities, okay? Imagine the mental malleability then, okay? That'll leave us ripe for priming. Uh, give us those damn rights and freedoms. Space invaders are here to eat you, type thing. That's basically what we're talking about. It'll just leave us open for... Uh, the government to finesse a narrative on us that we'll just fall head over heels for and endorse, even though it's to our detriment. That That's the trend there, okay? That's why we are going to want this new world order, because we don't see that they spin stories, they spin narratives, and they make things appeal to the people as if, you know, we're going to get the, the imperatives we're trying to push through naturally anyway, but really these other uh, nefarious elements are inlaid into that. And that's what we're talking about. And the thing is, is most people, you know, they're so thirsty for what's known as the supernatural paranormal, they'll, they'll accept from whatever comes down um, the pike from the government. And I think that's dangerous. Uh, most of it is going to be lies. You know, just, <laughs> just imagine the chaos.